Hey there, reggae lovers. It is your host, G. Cole, and I'm coming to you with some amazing reggae month fun fact. This segment is brought to you by our amazing sponsors, Florida Power and Light, Grace Foods, Island Space Caribbean Museum, and Jamaicans.com. Now let's get into these fun facts. Let's go. In the world of dance hall music, of Jamaican dance hall music, there are two names that stand tall above all the rest. I'm talking about Mr. Moses Biedemann Davis and Mr. Rodney Price, aka Bounty Killer, right? These icons are etched, etched in the history books of dance hall of Jamaican music for a lifetime, not just based on the impeccable body of work that they've put out, but based on that rivalry that they've had over the decades, that truly cemented their status as true dance hall and reggae Jamaican icons, right? Icons. Uh, we saw that also proven on Saturday, May 23rd, 2020. It's a pandemic with Swiss Beats and Timbaland, their versus battle that they had. Right, which is normally just artists going song for song, smooth, sweet, and nice. But nah, this was the Sound Clash edition, right, with Swiss Beats. And of course, it went from not just a Sound Clash edition, but it took a turn like never before, right, and became a clash of the titans, like we know it, clash. And of course, that forever changed the trajectory of verses, because thereafter, people started really performing and going at it. Prior to that, it was a nice little mellow situation, you know what I mean? And um, the numbers speak for themselves. This was actually, at the time, the largest audience to witness a Jamaican dancehall DJ battle, but it was also one of the biggest numbers that um, Versus had at the time, with over 400,000 people tuning in at its peak to check out the Versus battle between Beneman and his rival, Bone to Killer, captivating the entire, entire world. And of course, the impact was not just felt in the moment, Right, it was not just felt in a moment, but also in the aftermath. We saw them continue to to rise even post pandemic, and of course, have they've then forged a friendship built on mutual respect. If you pay attention to them, they still a drop word on each other, and I'm still a, I'm still a, you know what I mean? And of course, mark your calendars, February tenth, right here in South Florida for Reggae Genealogy. All right, make sure you're here at the Reggae Genealogy event where we dive deeply into the rich history and genealogy of Jamaican music. So just to drop some facts, Beanman has four Grammy nominations, right? With his Grammy Award winning album, um, Art of Life in 2001. Bounty Killer has made history by winning a Grammy in 2002 for his collaboration with No Doubt on that song, Hey Baby, all right? Which won best pop vocal performance for that year. But I'm just saying, the two legends, the two legends, two of my favorites, Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, etched in versus history, etched in dance hall history, etched in Jamaican history, etched in music history. But check them out. Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, lords of this dance hall thing. And there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's mind-blowing reggae facts. Courtesy of Florida Power and Light, Grace Foods, Island Space Caribbean Museum, and the Jamaicans.com. Remember also, reggae genealogy. The reggae genealogy event is just around the corner, February 10th, all right? So make sure you're registered so you can uncover even more fascinating history about Jamaican music. And also visit reggaegenealogy.org to secure your space. Stay tuned for more amazing content. And also, please hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that share, all right? Thank you.